Is it okay for a guy to cry in front of a woman? Is it a turn off when a guy cries? Maybe even too early on in the relationship. Has a guy ever cried in front of you? Cried in front in front of a woman? Did you call him a? Hey guys, real quick, I have a brand deal. This video is brought to you by Raycon. Raycon earbuds are the perfect gift this holiday season. Here I go. Those fit right in, real snug, really nice. Their wireless earbuds, headphones, and speakers offer premium sound, useful features, an almost custom comfortable fit, and up to 54 hours of battery life. And as the person gifting them, you've gotta love that they start at half price of the other premium audio brands. You know your brother or sister is gonna want some of this, or knock that list out all at once with the bundle. Get the bundle, folks. My favorite is the all-star bundle because I'm into fitness. I know it doesn't look like that, but I am. I can do more push-ups than you. You can find Raycon in stores now like Kohl's and Walmart. But let me tell you right now, you're gonna get the best deal if you use my link in the description. Buyraycon.com slash loft. Raycon website also uses buy now, pay later options. So click the link in the description or go to buyraycon.com slash to get 20% off site-wide or save even bigger with the holiday bundles and you can get 30% off. There will also be different deals coming throughout the season and I'll keep the description updated, but just so you know, you can always go to buyraycon.com slash loft. Thank you so much, Raycon, these are great. And by getting some Raycon, you're supporting the channel. Very nice. Can't get these out no matter how much movement. Yeah, look at this. <clears throat> I can't get these out. Oh yeah, so good for working out, you know? Hello, my name's Andrew Hales. We're at Belmont today. We're gonna get some anecdotes about uh, men crying in front of women, uh, men's vulnerability, emotional men, and being open emotionally. Uh, please, um, pull that like button's hair. <laughs> Olivia, has a, has a guy ever cried in front of you? Yes. Was it a turn off? Not really. Okay. I wouldn't say turn on, but, you know, yeah. it depends on the situation. Should men be more emotionally vulnerable? Yes, but not too early in the relationship. Why do you say that? Could be a turn off. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of implies they're a little weak or uh, drama pants. Could. Yeah. It depends what they're crying about, but. Okay. Yeah. YouTube. Oh, are you guys YouTubers? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. What's, uh, so what's your name? I'm Olivia. I'm Toby. Uh, you guys, what, what, like, aspect were you just talking about? Uh, the vulnerability of the male species. <laughs> Would you, uh, are you guys dating? No, no. no. <laughs> okay, are you, uh, would you, uh, yeah, so you, is it a turn off when a guy cries? No, not necessarily. Do you, would you feel comfortable being vulnerable? I guess it depends on the woman. Yeah, I definitely, I definitely think so. You don't get scared that she would, uh, like, tell all her friends and stuff? Uh, I think, like, if you're in, like, a long, I don't know, like, if you're in, like, a really long and strong relationship, like, I don't think it matters, and I think she, like, it's good to be vulnerable, but, like, I don't know, early on in, like, a relationship with a girl, I probably wouldn't cry in front of her. Yeah, you feel like she could, like, weaponize it later? I don't I don't think I would pick someone who would weaponize it, but I think there are people out there who could definitely weaponize it. It has to be the right environment, yeah. you know? Right. Like, you have to have trust within each other. You can't just, like, I don't know. That's, like, a big thing to me is, like, trust. So. You, you, you want guys to be more emotionally open? Um, I mean, I wouldn't say, like, I don't know. I'm, I wouldn't say I go for guys that, like, just cry all day long. But, like, I think that it's definitely comforting when a guy, like, knows how he feels emotionally and is, like, not afraid to, like, break down those walls, I guess. All right. Carter, do you feel like it's a good idea for a man to cry in front of a woman? I think it's an okay idea. I don't think it's a problem. It shouldn't be a problem. I really don't think it's a problem either. I think everyone has an opportunity to be vulnerable, or should have an opportunity to be re vulnerable regardless of your gender, your sex. All right, um, I guess guys are concerned uh, it might in imply uh, or send a message that they're unmanly or weak. Um, you feel like that's a valid concern? Well, no, because other guys started that. Males themselves started the whole you have to be super manly, you have to be a gym god, you know, like you have to be super in shape in order to, you know, feel something, which isn't true, and it should never be the case. 
you know you should be able to feel comfortable in your own skin no matter what you do all right you don't you don't feel like it's uh maybe even too early on in the relationship it could be a turnoff i mean not really i mean we've been dating for about 15 months and one thing that really stood out to me is how you know sensitive he was how emotional like i feel like men that are that are vulnerable kind of have an increased amount of emotional intelligence and i really do find that attractive in a man who can express their emotions and and do it in a healthy way i feel like you know being vulnerable like we have an unhealthy connotation to it but it can actually be a beautiful thing and you can actually connect with the person more have a deeper connection with them very nice it's a very healthy um viewpoint julian you ever cried in front of a woman yes i have but only my mom Okay, would would you ever, do you feel like it's a bad idea to be emotionally open in front of a woman that you're dating? No, not at all. I think uh, showing emotion is probably the best way to, for someone to get to know you. I mean, I'm a pretty emotional guy, I'll admit that right now, so. Same, yeah, I'm a big, I'm a big crybaby. I, I, I'm, I'm a big crier whenever it's like, I'm happy. Oh my gosh, (laughs) I'm just flooding from the eyes, so. (laughs) You don't feel like uh, it sends any kind of messages to girls, maybe un- unconsciously or subconsciously, that you're weak or unmanly or that it might turn them off in any way? Well, um, I don't know how to answer that because I'm, I'm not a woman, but like, yeah. I just personally don't care, you know, because if they judge you upon that, then are they really someone you want to be with? So Right on. There you go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, Jason, uh, you ever been emotionally open or vulnerable in front of a woman sure Mm -hmm. yes just uh like your wife or yes do you feel like um too early on in the relationship it can be a a bad idea like a turn off for a woman yes i do have you had a bad experience before no but i've i've heard of things happening like it can imply like a guy's weak or unmanly or whatever Mm -hmm. Do do you ever get concerns that your wife uh I don't know, gossips about your... Talks to her friends about it. Yeah. No. Some women probably would, making fun of you. Yeah, it's kind of a context and maturity thing, I guess. Yeah, definitely. Has a guy ever cried in front of you? Uh, yes. Was it a turnoff? Um, I feel like it made us closer, actually. Very nice. Um, Friend. (laughs) Okay, so it was platonic. Yes. Uh, How about you? Yeah. Was it... uh, do you feel like it was do you do you guys like it when guys are more emotionally vulnerable yes usually i would say yes it doesn't have to be necessarily crying in front of you yeah. but i i think it makes you closer and i think being vulnerable is something that's lacking in our society right now okay so so why you say um not necessarily crying it's uh, kind of implies they're like maybe weaker or more unmanly does. Or are you, yeah, do you feel like it's a, it's a bad idea too early in the relationship maybe to show tears? <laughs> shed tears? And <laughs> uh, no, I don't think so. All right. Uh, yeah, I guess a lot of guys' concern is that it, it um, the girl can weaponize it later in a future argument <laughs> or to talk about it with their friends. Do you think any those are valid concerns? Um, I don't think if, if it's the right person, no, I don't think so. Yeah, it's kind of a maturity thing context yeah yeah. laura has a guy ever cried in front of you they have yes were you turned off no (laughs) no (laughs) not at all (laughs) that's good you were you're sweet about it yes of course there's nothing wrong with a man crying (laughs) yeah a lot of guys are concerned that it implies it'll send a message that they're weak or unmanly or and that it'll it'll it's it'll be a turn off too early in the relationship I don't believe that at all. I feel like that's a misconception that a lot of people have and that needs to be talked about a little bit more. And there's really nothing wrong. Like every, we're all human. We all have emotions and need to express those emotions. So it's really okay for anybody to cry. All right. Do you gossip with it, with your girlfriends after? No. Yes, you do. No, (laughs) no, I do not. (laughs) I'm just kidding. No, (laughs) no, Uh, you have to treat it like how... You have to treat that how you'd want someone to treat it for you. So I'd never speak about a personal subject or that type of thing with my friends. Very nice. They're also concerned you would weaponize it against them in a future argument. No, 
No. <laughs> no. That's, okay. that's so bad. <laughs> I'm kind of like trying to trap you. But yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's about it. Thank you. Yes, of course. JJ, uh, you feel like it's a good idea to be emotionally open and vulnerable in front of a, a woman that you like? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think so. I think just being yourself and just like maybe, I mean, emotionally vulnerable and just like happy, I guess. Okay, have you cr- ever cried in front of a woman? Yeah, plenty of times. How was the response? It was fine. It was it was normal. It wasn't like... She wasn't like turned off or called no. you weak or anything? No, not at all. That's good. Yeah. That's never worried you at all? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think it's... I think in front of a man or a woman, it doesn't really matter. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, sweet. That's, that's yeah. about it. There you go. Zach. If a woman says you can be open with her emotionally, or do you believe her? Sure. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Have you ever uh, been emotionally vulnerable or like cried in front in front of a woman? I don't believe I have actually. How old are you? I'm 19. Yeah. Do you feel like it would um, be a turnoff to future dating prospects? Potentially. I I don't know. I've I've never been like in a relationship, so okay. So I don't know. Are you on Tinder or anything? No. How are you going to meet a girlfriend? I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully it just happens. I don't know. All right. Um, that's about it. Cool. Thank Th- you. Thanks, man. Mary, has a guy ever cried in front of you? Uh, Yes. Did you call him a bitch? Absolutely not. <laughs> no. Actually, I think that it shows great strength to cry. Very good. Um <laughs> <laughs> what uh well guy yeah guys are scared to make some look unmanly mm-hmm. uh yeah. it'd be a turn off to the woman do you feel like it's a bad idea too early on in the relationship no i think that um it shows that he's comfortable in front of you um and that it can build communication skills between the relationship so that's i don't know i think it's a good thing depending on the topic very nice uh do you feel like in general most women gossip about their boyfriend's <laughs> flaws behind their back. Uh, I personally don't. I think it's private. But yeah, right. <laughs> I'm. I'm. No, I'm serious. I'm no, serious. I, I no, I believe you. Is it okay for a guy to cry in front of a woman? Yes. 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 That's yes. sweet. <laughs> well, no, like I care. I guess. Or it's not a. I guess the concern is it's a turn off. It makes them look unmanly. No, maybe. No, not at it. all. I don't that think crying that. is the definition of masculinity. Yeah. Right. Okay. Do you feel like, uh, yeah, guys are also scared that women might weaponize it in a future argument or talk about it with their girlfriends and stuff like that? You think that those are valid concerns? No. no. It's invalid. No. I think that's sweet. Like, they care. Or they're Sh- sad. Should men be more emotionally vulnerable? Yes. Yes. Go for Please. it. Please. I think that you should live genuinely <laughs> and be authentic. <laughs> and it's okay to have emotions. Yes. Staring them Is it alright to stare at the camera? <laughs> <laughs> You're staring at them. Sorry, I'm just trying to get content. You know? <laughs> Basically, we should just, just be loving to one another. <laughs> I'm serious about this, okay? We should be. Lo- so hold on. You don't. You don't think too. You don't think too early on in the relationship it's a turn off, maybe? No. Okay, maybe. at least not for me. Can I speak. My truth. Yeah. What, are they, what are they crying about? Okay, I yeah, think. I, the context matters. <laughs> I think that if you are experiencing grief, it's okay to cry, and that emotions are emotions, and that we all have to cry someday. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> all right. What if it's, if That's if about a it. Musician, if you're a musician. Harry Styles can cry. Oh, of course. Wait, I was not talking about Harry Styles. He's not a local to Nashville. We're in Nashville right now. <laughs> Belmont. Belmont University. I know. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, you already did the intro? Yeah. Well, Can we be in the intro? In Nashville. We do these every week. Stop, yeah. I want to follow. Hello. I'm Emma. Oh, that's about it, yeah. Okay. Oh, sorry, we're not done. We were not done. <laughs> oh, yeah, if you want to keep talking. This. Basically, my opinion on the matter is that we should treat each other with love and care and if that means being willing to tolerate some tears it's okay (laughs) and we're in Nashville and there's a lot of artists here sometimes artists just need to speak their vulnerability 
And if that's their tears, that's also okay. <laughs> but they can also write a song about you, so it's okay. <laughs> All right. Thank that's you. about it. Yeah. I, I Wait, appreciate I it. Yeah, what's the YouTube channel? I, would, yeah. I better feature Maybe you just type in Loft. Oh, oh, whoops it out. Oh, wow. <laughs> merch. 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 Get the merch. Shoploft.com. Woo! <laughs> yes! Yes. Oh, my gosh. Imagine the edits he's going to make on this. He's going to make us look like terrible people. He's going to, like, no. he's going to be like, or we might not make the cut. Well, Even Kanye no, West. No, 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 no. Oh, my gosh, no. it's Belmont. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. This has two, oh, no. this has two is... million followers. No! <laughs> well, no. I, yeah, but they, only, like, 30,000 of them. Are you still filming? Are you amazing? <laughs> Because <laughs> people around us are hey, just late to Dr. Florian. You <laughs> had people on dating apps, people on Kanye West, yeah, and we got stuck with men on vulnerable. You know the guy at UTK that does this? Say what? You're better than him. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, two million? Who's, who, who are talking about? I, I was inspired to do this video from um, a Reddit post. You can, uh, the link will be in the description somewhere, in one way or another, and a lot of it rings true, obviously. I think, obviously, girls, um, they don't, they don't have a choice but to be unattracted to men that show any weakness. It's, uh, it's, it's biological, obviously, you know? The same way we have no choice but to be attracted to voluptuous titties and ass, whatever. You know, it's, it's, we don't have a choice. It's not, okay? So, I'm not trying to, <laughs> obviously, you know, this, all my videos are, all the people-ons and the chattings, are not comprehensive and <laughs> anecdotal and whatever. Do not conclude anything. They're not scientific. Blah, blah, blah. Um, luckily, I found... I mean, yeah, I'm a huge crybaby. I, personally, I've... Um, about 90% of the women that I've met in my life... Wait. That's, there's no way to, okay. I, I specifically remember this time hanging out in college. And this girl I ha had a crush on, I rem I specifically remember her being like, ew. Oh yeah, no, like she was talking about some guy she went on a date with or something and something like he started crying and she was like, ew, yeah, like, ew, I hate it when guys cry. Oh my God, I hate it when guys cry. So I like, <laughs> that like burned into my brain, like, and cause, you know, it makes sense, whatever. Luckily Carly, <laughs> my, my current girlfriend, she's, it's a maturity thing too though. Like that girl was whatever, 19. In my memory. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> uh, Carly, yeah, no, I've cry I probably cry more than Carly. She's so, um, she's super sweet that way.